so we understood that okay um, we have to print the value so what we have did we have to we are going to call this function now what this function is going to do it will just remove the first element from this array nothing but kabir and it will store that value here and we are going to print that so i have to execute this function so array one call so i have called it so if i wanted to execute i have to say node and it should be file name so array now we got kabir right but this function is executed only one time because we have called it one time but my requirement is how many elements are present in this array that every element should be printed means we have to execute this logic multiple times right now till what time we have to execute until this array becomes empty means we have a condition means we need to make a array as a empty so what i will be doing i will be writing while right so while okay now while is nothing but a function like loop which is going to take this particular line of code so i'm going to cut and i'm going to keep the while now this line of code should be executed till this array become empty empty so how we can find how many elements are present for that we have a property called length name dot length if you say it will return how many elements are present right so i will say here names dot length so whenever i am going to say names dot length it will return how many elements are present for example whenever i am going to execute right first time how many elements are present 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so the value will be 6 6 means true it will execute okay now we have removed one element so kabir has been removed now how many elements we have 1 2 3 4 5 now again it will check name dot length how many 5 again it's true so again this time it will remove jia and it will store that in value again it will print jia as well again it will go to here again it will be name dot length in the same way kabir and jia has been removed so we have more four elements so the value will be four like this it will come it will print all the values then when it prints all the values and remove all the elements it has not zero elements now name dot length is nothing but zero means condition is false so it will come out of this particular loop and the function will be ended save now we got all the elements kabir jia santosh array aryan 33 aish now we have to call the elements and just we have displayed right we are just removing the element right now in the same way i want it should print in reverse order means it should start from aish instead of kabir so instead of shift you just say now this time it has printed in reverse order now ash 33 aryan santosh ji akbir now this is how we do some operations here just i wanted to explain how you write while how you write some condition how this particular code will be executed based on conditions okay now this is not correct approach that we are emptying this array right we have some more approach that we will be seeing in some sessions as of now just you have to remember how we have to use while and how this function works so here i just wanted to explain you while okay now this is how we have printed now let me finish it and um, apart from that we have so let me comment this particular thing we have some more functions in array for example i want to find the index of santosh so in which index the santosh has been stored so for that we have a predefined function called names dot i mean not names we have to say array dot we have to give the function name the function name is index of and you have to pass the value santosh now it will search the santosh and it will pick the index of that element and it will return 
so it will return means we have to catch so var index value equals to now i wanted to print so i will just say console dot log of index value so what we are doing we are first seeing the at what index this particular santosh element is present now 0 1 2 it is present in the 2 this 2 will be written and stored in index value and now we are printing the index value so our answer should be 2 now we got the 2 so index of is used to find the element for example i don't have element i said santosh 1 now santosh 1 is not present here right in this array so what it will return it will return minus one means if any element is not present in that particular array then it will return minus one if you get the result as a minus one it means that particular element santosh one is not present in the array that is the meaning okay guys now this is of index now suppose i have santosh now again i am inserting one more value as santosh means this time i have the two values i mean two elements which are same now this santosh is present in the second third fourth fifth sixth means one santosh is present at the second index and one more santosh at the sixth index right now what will be the value so let me change this save now it is two now if you execute it is two means it is matching the first occurrence like now, first time it is a Santosh here. Now, suppose I am inserting Santosh here. Right? Now, we have Santosh word three places, right? In the first index, then now it is moved to third, third index, then it is to the seventh index. Now, it will print the first occurrence. The first occurrence is the one. So, answer should be one. Now, we got the one. Now in the same way, if you wanted to find the last occurrence, right? Then for that, we have the method called last index of. So L should be small, L-A-S-T last. Index I should be capital. And O should be capital. Now this is the syntax, right? We have to follow the exact what name they gave for that function. Now this is the seven because it is catching the last occurred element, right? In the same way, if you wanted to find whether the element is present or not, right? Now we saw it is returning element. Now we have one more method called includes. Now what includes will do? Now includes will just check the element is there or not. If the element is there, it will return true. If element is not there, it will return false. So I will say includes, that's it. Now Santosh is present, right? How many times present it will not see it will just see santosh is present or not if we, that santosh element is present it will return true if not then it will return false so execute it now we return true now here i am saying santosh one that santosh one element is not present so it will return false which is written the false that's it right now this is the thing we have like index of last index of now now this is the array, right? Now I wanted to print that array. So what you will be doing? Console dot log of names, right? It will print the array. So just say, now it has printed the output in the form of array, right? In the same way, if you wanted to print this particular in the reverse order, console.log you have to say names dot you have a predefined function called reverse if you call this reverse function it will print all the elements in that particular array in reverse order now we got in the reverse order so just remember reverse is also one of the predefined method in arrays so as of now we saw something like push pop shift unshift index of last index of then we saw something like reverse includes totally we saw eight methods and this eight, eight methods are very important because it will be required for you writing some complicated logics right we have some more methods like we have 20 plus methods in arrays we have to be perfect in every method in the same way we have one more method called filter so let us understand what is filter so i will be saying filter 
array dot js now filter is also predefined method so first of all i need to define the array so let me take this array which we have seen in the last so i took this array copy paste here okay we have the array now my requirement is i need to pick each and every element now i don't want it to delete right i wanted to be uh, take each and every element so for that we have one method called for each right for each so how we have to call names dot for each this is a method i mean function for each is a function now this for each function will take one callback function so function right now this callback function will take two parameters one is value i mean element comma index right now whenever you are going to call for each on array it will go pick first element like it will pick the kabir it will store in element and it will see kabir is present in which index it is in the index now it will keep the index 0 in in this variable okay now here i wanted to print so i will say console dot log now i wanted to say something like first it should print index so index right then i need some space then after space i want it to print element now how many times this for each will execute it depends upon how many elements present in that array now here we have so many elements so first time it will go and pick first element like kabir and it will store kabir in element and index is 0 it will store here it will print then again it will comes to the array and it will check whether we have more elements or not yes we have one more element like santosh then it will pick this santosh now it will keep in this element and the index is 1 now it will be the one again it will execute again it will comes to the array and it will check one more element present or not yes present here yeah. it will take this here yeah, and it will store now in this it is not deleting the elements it is just picking the element and storing the element and the its index and it is printing now when it comes to your last sentence right santosh so let me remove this duplicate values and the last value is ash right after printing ash again it will comes to this array and it will check any element is present now we don't have any elements now it will come out of this particular loop right right now i am going to execute it node filter array now it has printed everything now here Now let me take some space here. Execute it. Now you, if you see the output, zero Kabir, then one in Santosh. Why this zero? Because we are printing index. Then we give some space. Then we are printing element. So first time the element is Kabir. Then second time Santosh. Then Zia. Then Aryan. something like this now this is the use of for each means it is going to pick each and every element from that array now this is also very important method for each so totally we saw nine now let me see one more that is filter now you have one array like var information the array name is information so this is array now what array contains array contains elements right now element can be a string it can be a number it can be a date it can be a decimal whatever and it can be a object as well so here the first element is object right then how we can separate one element and another element using comma so comma the second element is also object the third element is also object in the same way i have fourth element that is also object and i have i have fifth element that is also object right now what object contains it contains properties so first property is equals to name and 
value is Kabir. Okay, what object contains properties? This is the first property. How can you represent a property using key value, right? Now I'm saying comma, I have one more gender is male, right? In the same way, each and every object will have two properties, name and gender. So here I'm going to copy and this time I'm saying it like Zia and the, it is female, right? In the same way, I have one more object, right? It is also contains some two elements. All the elements will contain some two elements. I'm sorry, two properties. Now here, it is something like Santosh. And here, it will be something like Zoya. And it, gender is female. Let me remove it and keep it as a female. And here it will be like Aish, right? And the gender is female. Okay, now we have defined one array. The name of array is information, right? We define one array, the array name is information. Now each array contains elements. So here each element is one object. This is one element, one object. This is another object, this is second element. How can you differentiate one element or another element using comma? In the same way, one object contains multiple properties. Now this is one property, this is another property. How you can differentiate using comma? Now how property looks using key value. Key is name and value is Kabir. In, in this way, we have some data. Now my requirement is, I wanted to print only male persons. I don't want to print all the array. I want to just print male persons. Means I'm filtering the information. Now if you wanted to filter based on condition. So how we can, uh, like here, how we can filter male and female using the property called gender. If it is a gender is female means that particular person is female. If the gender is male means that particular person is male, right? So if you wanted to filter, now array provides one method, predefined method called filter. Now how we have to call? In the same way, first of all, you have to know the name of your array, that is information, right? Dot filter. It is a function, so we wrote a function. Now this is a predefined function, so we have to call like this. Now this function will take one callback function. So function, okay? Now this callback function will take two elements. First one is like element, comma index, okay? Now here we don't require index, so I'm not going to take index. I will take just element, right? Now this filter, what this will do, it will return based on condition, means it will, this function will return element based on condition. What is condition I am saying? So before that, let us understand what this filter will do. Now, whenever you are going to call this filter on the array, what this filter will do, it will go to this array. So it will come to this information. It will pick first element. Here the first element is this object. It will pick this object and it will keep here in this element. Now this element is object, right? Now here this function will check some condition. Now I have to check the condition. What condition I have to check? I have to check this gender is male or female. So how can I access this gender? Now this object is present in element, right? So element dot gender. So I will be saying here element dot gender. If element dot gender is equal equals to female. Right? If element dot gender is equal equals to female, then we it will return. Right? What it will do if this condition is true. Okay. If this condition is true, then it will take this element, whatever element we have stored in this element preference, that 
element will give back it will give back right so if it gives back we have to catch it we have to store somewhere so we have to store filtered information so what this filter will do it will check this condition if this condition is true then whatever element it it was present in this element reference that element it will throw back so that particular element will be stored in this filter information filtered information now this filtered information is also array so it will store everything in a array so what exactly how this functionality is going to work just see now whenever you are going to call information dot filter now what filter will do it will go to your information array it will pick the first element here the first element is object so this is a object it picked this object and it is stored in this element right now element dot gender means element this object dot gender is male right male equal equals to female the condition is false so it will not throw anything again it will come to the filter again it will see the information again it will check whether we have one more element or not yes we have one more element now it will pick this element and it will keep here in this element right again it will check element dot gender now it is a female right now female equal equals to female the condition is true if condition is true then it will pick this object i mean this element this particular element right now this element will be stored in new array that array called filtered information now again filter will go to information again it will check whether we have element or not yes we have one more element now it will take this element again it will store in your element now here again it will check element dot gender so male equal equals to female the condition is false so it will skip again it will come and it will check we have one more element here yeah, we have zoya now it will pick this element and keep here again it will check element dot gender is nothing but female female equals to female the condition is true now it will what it will do it will take this object whatever present whatever present in this element and it will store in this filtered information array so based on condition this array has been filtered and stored in new array now this array and this array are two different right this is normal array now this array is nothing but filtered array right now we have done now i wanted to print so i will say console dot log it should in uh, like it should print filtered information right now we are checking with female so my out should put should be only with the female objects now if i say node then filter array now see now we got just two females zia and zoya and we got ash also but here f is small that's why we didn't get so keep it is capital f because we are checking here with the capital f so if you execute now you got 3 with the gender female so we are filtering it right now if you want only male just say male now it will check the male if the male condition is true then that particular object will be stored in filtered information if you execute now we got only female i mean sorry only we got only male kabir and santosh now this is how the filter works and this filter is useful for many things now whenever you are opening some website you will be filtering based on course or based on some product something like that internally they are going to perform this kind of app uh, coding so this is how we have to filter now we just wrote javascript code now the same thing we have to do with the information we will have some 50 records where we will have the each record will be the information of one person now we will have two radio buttons like male and female and all whenever you click on the all all the information 50 informations will be printed in table format right now whenever you click on the mail it should filter and it should display only male people now if you click on female it should filter that particular data and it should display only female data now that is the our requirement 
that we will be doing in the next session okay so that's all guys this is the concept of your filter this is very important concept right now one more thing like i wanted to tell like we have the filter we have some more methods like joins we have map which is very important every sum we have so many methods in arrays now this methods will be very important so just try to practice and be perfect in all the methods of arrays right now that's it guys that's it guys thank you for watching the video